Hi everyone, it's Simon from Cheshire College Sports Department. So what I'm gonna do is take you through some stretches that you can do at home after your uh, one bout of exercise you're allowed to do per day or whether you've been sat at the office or at your desk uh, for a bit too long and you just need to relax those muscles. So these can be done in front of the TV. Uh, they can be done outside on the grass if it's dry. So we're gonna go through each one uh, for each stretch, you're going to hold for 15 to 30 seconds, mainly up towards the 30 seconds mark. What that's going to do is, is make sure that you're relaxed. Throughout all these stretches, it's mild discomfort. It shouldn't be too painful. If it is, you just need to ease back on the stretch. Now, one of the things to do on this video is not recognize how inflexible or unflexible that I am. So what we're going to focus on first is your calf muscles. So if you've been for a walk, you might notice you're a bit tight. So we're going to stretch these on the back of your legs. So for this first stretch, you're going to put your foot out and then put your right foot on top of it. And all you're going to do, keeping the leg at the top straight, is just bring that foot slowly back towards you. To increase the stretch further, to engage the hamstrings, you can lean forward and come and touch your toes. Yes, that is the furthest that I can go, to that mild discomfort. So you're going to hold that. For 15 to 30 seconds, you're gonna relax and swap feet. So you're gonna put your left foot on top of your right and bring that foot back. So each one of these, this whole full routine is gonna take you about 10 to 15 minutes. So after you've done that, legs out straight, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna stretch into your hamstrings. So for this one, it's gonna slide your bum a bit further. You're gonna bring the right leg, make sure it's 90 degrees at the hip. You're gonna bring your left leg nice and straight. You're gonna place your hands behind Make sure your head is nice and neutral, facing the floor, sorry, facing the ceiling, and make sure you can feel that stretch through the back of your hamstrings. To increase the stretch, you can lengthen that other leg, but I'm just gonna keep it at 90 degrees for now. So you're gonna hold that for that 15 to 30, and you're gonna relax that. And again, on the right side, you can do the same. Take your leg, bring it straight, put your hands behind, making sure they're clasped, as you can see there. You're gonna hold that mild discomfort. 15 to 30, and relax. So what we're gonna do now is do our glutes. So from this position, you're gonna come up, you're gonna put your right leg over your left knee, you're gonna take this left arm, and you're gonna pull this right knee towards your left shoulder, and you're just gonna feel that into this bottom side of your hip, into your glutes. So you're just gonna twist with that the opposite way. So again, holding that for 15 to 30 seconds, and relax, so make sure you swap inside. So now you're gonna take your left leg, go over your right leg, and on your right knee, left knee, you're gonna pull it into that right shoulder. Again, you should be feeling it close towards here. Excellent for doing after your walk, or after your run, or after your bike ride. Excellent. So once you've done that, we're now gonna do our quads. To do this, you, lie, you can lie on your side, and all you're going to do, looks as if you're lying in bed, make sure your body is out straight, knees together, hips nice and neutral, and just hold that position. Again, holding it for 50 to 30 seconds, knees should be together. Don't worry too much if your heel can't touch your bum, we're just making sure that we can feel that nice stretch down the front of our thigh. 15 to 30 seconds, once you're happy, switch. Over onto the other side, arm out, that's it. Bring in, making sure your body is all in line as you do the stretch. Head nice and relaxed on your hand. Excellent. Make, don't worry again too much, as long as you can feel that mild discomfort throughout your thigh. Fantastic. Right, next one we're gonna do is for triceps, back of your arms. So if you've been sat a long time at your desk, you might have had your arms extended. So for this, what we're going to do is your hand's going to come up, bend at the elbow and touch the back of your neck. Just like that. You can, have, you can make sure your back is against the sofa perhaps and you're just going to pull your elbow up towards the back of your head. And you're just going to hold that position there. Now if you're unlike me, you can actually cross your legs and hold that position. 15 to 30 seconds, swap. So this hand now comes up onto the back of your head back of your neck and just push and hold that position. Brilliant, so 15 to 30 seconds. And relax. 
as well because we're sitting at the desk for such a long time and our shoulders are going to be punched forward it's important as well that we stretch through the chest and the pectorals so what you're going to do is bring your hands behind your back come to the side so you can see hands behind your back and draw those elbows together make sure you're upright as you're doing this looking forward bring the elbows together pushing back those elbows and pushing your chest out you should feel that stretch around the front Again, holding this for 15 to 30 seconds. Okay. Now in this position as well, we need to stretch the back of our shoulders. So for this, we can bring our hands forward, not clasping the fingers. We're just gonna place them on top of one another. And we're gonna roll our shoulders forward, bring our head down to our chest and pull those shoulder blades forward here, as far as we can go. Hold it to that mild discomfort for as long as we can. So the final one I want to show you, particularly for being at a desk for such a long time, is one particularly through the neck region, because we're twisting our heads, looking at maybe multiple screens or looking down towards the laptop. So what you're going to do is to stretch this side, you're going to make sure your shoulders are nice and neutral, relaxed. You're going to bring your head to one side, almost bringing your ear to touch your opposite shoulder. And we're just going to hold that position until you feel mild discomfort. Now, what you might have to do is bring your head to neutral, twist it slightly, 45 degrees, look into this side, and then pull it down. You just feel another stretch elsewhere. Excellent. So for this side, again, bring in your left ear towards your left shoulder, bring it down. You should feel a stretch through there making sure this arm's nice and relaxed and nice and heavy. And again, bring it back to neutral, twisting it 45 degrees, then looking down and we'll feel a stretch slightly in a different area. Excellent. So you go, there's some stretches that you can try at home to help us all get through this. Just make sure you stay home and stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you all soon.